G'day guys, Whoopass here, and I'm on Gold Rush as the hated, feared WM1 Flog Pyro. I've equipped the Man Melter as well, you can see me extinguishing, and I find them a really good combination. Right click on that also gives you crits for every shot you have. I've currently got six just from that little exchange. Now we're trying to get out of spawn, and what I'm trying to do is build up the crits on my flog. So you'll see me doing a lot of strafing. I find that's really good. It puts them off their game, but also allows me to swipe some flames over them. Because as I said, I may not be wanting to kill them right now, but I certainly want to build up the crits so that I can kill them in an ambush. Okay, looking around, how safe is it? Just looking for sentry. Doesn't look like there is one there. Extinguish that poor heavy. Alright, having a look at what we've got over the ridge. Well, I found something we definitely need to watch out for. That demo. And I think just below him I'm about to find something else even worse. So let's see how we go. This pyro is a bit um, blindsided. He's just focused. Tunnel vision. Didn't see me coming in behind him. Notice I also went in to try and help uh, my player and he just ran away. Well, having a bit of fun in here. Let's see how we go pushing without them. And there's my first view of the sentry. So as a pyro, you're fairly limited in taking down a sentry, particularly with a flog pyro because you don't have any air blast. A pyro with um, Uber on him from the medic can normally knock that down pretty quickly. Don't forget, you're one of your team's best chances of finding spies. So you notice I'm just poking over the top of the hill, trying to find out whether we've knocked down that sentry yet, because I can move forward when that's down, but I've got to bide my time and try and build up that crits again while I'm waiting. There was a sniper up the top, just checked him out. I was pretty lucky the medic got onto me that time and kept me alive. I'm calling to the med. Always look after your med. I'm trying to get him over to the med kit, but I think he got his health off the portable med kit. The cart. Right, moving in. Doing a bit of a spy check, just to make sure there's nothing left behind up here. Help the team out. I'm always watching out for the sniper on that corner. and then come around and see if I can flank. Now I've got crits on the man melter and my flog, which is pretty helpful, and I'm overhealed. Demo took a bit of my health. And team's on fire, man melter to the rescue. Okay, I'm looking, heavy's just outside, so I'm going to pop crits here. See if I can take down Heavy and the Med. Now I'm looking, I can't see them, there they are. Go for the Heavy first. When the Heavy's down, the Med has no protection. And now I'm coming back. Help my team out with a Sniper. Again, strafing, picking up the crits. Good work, Red Pyro. Well, rest of the team are <laughs> coming through. They're pretty happy. We've capped. Round two. Now, if you are new to Gold Rush, Gold Rush has three parts. And each map gets longer and longer. If you win each one, you go on to the next. And if you lose a map, then it swaps to the other team. Their turn to push. Okay, so over to my right was the previous map. And now we're going to move on. So the maps are actually physically connected and just separated by a fence. And that's why you'll often see people run out and go in the wrong direction. 
when they get on one of the gold rush maps because they think that one section is already open. Have a little dance with the team. A bit of team building. There's a demo that's definitely too drunk to drive. <laughs> Heat him up. Alright, we've run seven seconds to go. I'm looking for the medic, calling for the medic. I can't really run out there, there'll be stickies on the door. Checking to make sure there's no spy coming through. Now when the medic does latch onto me, I notice that he's running crits. But I notice too late. It's alright. Main exit isn't such a good way to move if you've just got crits. I can get crits with my flog. Let me try flanking. Ah, I did see him too, or heard him anyway. Thought there was something back there, but couldn't pick him up and he got a well-deserved backstab. Well, live and learn. Not going to let it happen again. Lots of spy checking behind. Yep, he's clear. Okay, so I'm trying to move around. I don't want the Huntsman's Arrow, or Luckman as they call them, to take me down as I come down the corridor. Choke points and Huntsman are very bad combinations. I'm going to see if I can get down to their spawn. Happen to come across an unfortunate demo, so he's not telling anybody I'm there. Now Med, high priority target. He did the right thing and turned around trying to take me down. No luck. Now these guys, I think they thought I was going to go left, so I cut back, knock two down. And I'm going to crits just round to the side of the spawn. I don't want them to know that I'm critzing, I want to try an ambush. Oh, he almost got me. He knew what I was doing. Okay, I'm going to get away from spawn. I don't want to be spawn camping, although I have been guilty of doing that on occasions, <laughs> but I try not to. Just burn a couple and get out of there. Alright, here we go. Our med's in trouble, he's got a spy on him. Looks like the heavy cleaned him up. So far so good, fairly clear. Try and flank them down the left side. Didn't have a lot of success. I thought we'd push them back further. Might have just been unlucky that the demo was out. Right, back with the team. A little bit of spy checking. Spies love to drop down from those areas, the buildings, the hills, up the stairs. Got to look over my shoulder, there it is. Just making sure that the spy isn't trying to get me in the corridor. I looked out there and there's a fair few of them. So I didn't want to drop down, but the soldier's seen me. First I know is when he hits me with two and then three. Good job, Solly. I try and move the viewer around while I'm watching the kill cam. Just so that I can see what's happening on the rest of the map. I had a quick glance at the uh, teleporter and it was a level one just starting up so if there was an exit it probably wasn't going to happen in a hurry. Spy checking this one. Now again it's all about building up the crits. I can build up crits with the man melter. I can extinguish and get crits for the man melter. And of course I can build up crits by strafing and burning with the flog. Double check those guys. And this one. Check the buildings again. Always watch your back. Now I saw the sticky there. It told me that there was something nasty up the stairs. So I backed away. WM1 gets a pretty bad rap that you know you just push forward and don't really think about it and I try not to play that way, although there are times when I do, particularly when I've got the crits. 
Now I left the spy that health. I know there's a spy a health pack back here. Soldier very wisely checked me, decided I was okay. So coming back again, there's an Uber. I'm going to lose. So back up. Uber lasts for 8 seconds if it's on one player. Now I'm just trying to build up my crits, trying to get the heavy. Over a distance, it's a little harder, but there's a health pack so it'll keep me going. Thank you, Scout. And there's my crits. Alright, once I've got crits, what I'm trying to do is hide. Wait for them to come out. I saw them in the tunnel, critzing, moving through. High priority target, medic. Medic's down. Spy after me, down. Three kills, still alive, WM1. Overextended that time. Didn't see the level one. And it happens. But the point I'm making is, you don't just have to push on blindly and not think about where you're going. Survival's important. And when you're a flog pyro, you want to build up the crits. And you can't do that when you die. So do everything you can to get that crits. Then, hide. Crits out of view. And catch them by surprise. When the flog critzes, it's like a back burner all over. And people don't know what hit them. This comes from nowhere and they've got no chance. Okay, soldier has them busy over there. Building up the crits again and moving out of the way. Got crits, let's use it. Don't know where they are, so I was hoping there was someone there, didn't see them. Coming round, and I've learnt the hard way that there's a level 3 sentry on the left. So I'd normally be calling that, I don't know what that pyro's doing. <laughs> Covered in gerardi and crawling at a snail's pace. Now just when I came through the telly I was spraying fire because the telly had been sapped. I didn't know whether the spy was still around. But I did see that they had a few players turned around, get away from the stickies. Had a few players down there that would help me build crits. So I'm out, alive, almost full crits. Extinguish, there's the man melter again. Keep your players alive. Now when the pyro is rushing me, when it's pyro on pyro, it's a really good idea to back up. Keep facing them, keep firing but back up. That extends the range of your fire and it means he has to run into it to try and burn you. In a one-on-one -on -one with equal health you'll beat most pyros like that. So as they're coming towards you you run backwards. I've got the crits. He's clear. I don't know what's out there though. Don't know if there's a sentry but our Uber's there so it's worth trying. I'm using the crits and I used it to protect myself because when you use it you become invincible for a second or two and we cap. Now I think later in this in this video I'll be able to show you again that um, backup and flame technique. I found it so useful and really gets you out of a lot of spots when it's pyro on pyro. So I'll mention it a few times in this video, because it's a, it's a real tip. Alright, team's pretty confident. We're starting leg three of Gold Rush. It's a long one. So I was checking, I was going to swap to NG and um, do an upgrade, but I see we haven't got an NG yet. And that's okay, we don't have anywhere to go. But it's probably a good time to mention that you should always try and help out the NGs. It's a bit of a thankless job, a bit like medics sometimes. And they can do with all the help they can get. Upgrading tellies, sentries, even dispensers. So 
You've seen me a couple of times in this coming game, I'll swap out, I'll upgrade and then swap back. Only takes 10 seconds and saves people having to fight over the teleporter and helps the whole team at the same time. Right, just checking, there's stickies on that gate. I can't air blast them. No air blast with flog. Checking to see if there are stickies here. Well, we've Ubered, so I know it's clear to there anyway. Again, swap to Man Melter. Try to build up a little bit of crits. There's a heavy, standing still, easy target. As I said, the Man Melter builds up crits on the flog as well, so they're a good combination. Checking around the cart. Come out there and there's a sentry. Got back in time but I don't have any health and I'm being spammed. Use the crates. There's the med. Help me med. Ah, that's right, I got the health. Okay, now there's a sentry there. And medics very kindly given me Uber. Ubered flog. Probably one of the worst sights you want to see running towards you. Coming back now, don't want to overextend, and I can take down a lot of their team as we push the cart through, because we want that cap. This cap will close that door for their spawn. Give us a tactical advantage. Moving forward, I've got crits. Now I've got overheal. Thanks, Med. I'm guessing that they're around the corner. And yes. Overextended, but I took a few of them with me. It's an example of the WM1. <laughs> yeah, I'm as guilty as most of us are at some stage. Alright, Telly's still not up. Or we don't have an NG, I think. It's a long run. That's what this third map's all about. Follow the track. Quick look for spies. And again, strafing. I want to use the truck. I'm going to try and approach them from a direction they're not expecting. Now, out of the corner of my eye, I saw the NG setting up, so I'm coming around behind. I'll take down that sentry. Another one behind me, but I've got the crits. Flanking back. Keep them busy, my team pushing. I'm going to use the crits through after them and protect my medic. Now this heavy's almost had me down. I was lucky your medic got onto me. Thanks med. My turn to try and protect you now. Just a bit too much. It happens. Yes. Teleporter's coming. Let's see if I can help him out. Level 3 will put players through much faster. We'll get to the front faster, we'll cap faster, so it helps everybody. While we're talking about tellies too, make sure you let the slower classes, the power classes and the medic through before you go. And of course the NG, because if he's not up here he can't protect his uh, gear, he can't repair it. And next thing you know, you won't have a telly and you won't have an NG. Now, I wanted the medic to stay up there. Because he was only on 15. It wasn't really fair of me to drop down without telling him. And when I respawn, I see that he died at the same time. So I let him go through. Right. Flank. So this lower section of the third map allows me to get around behind them. I glance to see who saw me. And I bump into a spy. I backed up for the stair stab. I didn't want him to take me by surprise. Okay, coming down. I noticed the heavies mid-map. So I've come up behind them here. Shall we begin? And that, that sniper saw me. He did a good job protecting his medic and his heavy. Here we go. Telly's up. Go, go. OK, 
Okay, flank again. There's the spy. <laughs> He's pretty unlucky. Yes. Got the sentry. I say unlucky, the spy, I, I don't know how many hours he's played, he might be new to the class as well. So, I always try and be fair to players who, you know, either have bad luck or haven't got a lot of experience. I was there once. I know what it's like. <laughs> In some of the classes I still feel like I'm still there. Right, flanking again. Flunk pyro for flank is good. I can't reflect rockets. I can't push back uh, stickies or pipes. But I can come in from the side and do a bit of damage. I'm trying to use the cart to protect myself. Moving forward as best I can. But again, that sniper is doing a pretty good job. And I've learnt where a sentry is. Repeat, this is not a drill. Now I'm standing back for the medic. The demo probably should have let the med go through first. After all, med can't keep him alive if he doesn't. I back off for the Solly, another power class, fairly slow car class. Let the pyro go and the heavy. <laughs> you can't let them all go or you'll never play. That scout's got the right idea. He'd be running, hopefully not taking the telly unless there's nobody else around. There's our poor Mr. Spy. I have a feeling he hasn't been playing the class very long. I hope he'll enjoy it though. What up? Well, our medic just quit. At least one of them did. Now, I'm doing a strafing around the corner. Whole intention is to build up that crits. But my health's really low, so this is risky. Now, I'm on 35. Can't afford to go any lower. Probably shouldn't have even risked it when I was on 71, but got away with it. Extra health. Thanks, Engie. Team's pushing well. Thought I saw something over here. Yes. <laughs> Wasn't our team pushing at all. It was a spy. And down they go. So there's three in a row, and that puts us on defense. Well done, team. Yep, have a little dance. A victory dance. Now it's looking pretty positive. I saw at least one Enchi. The gate I was talking about, you can see the Enchi's going the wrong way because they don't realise it's the first stage of the map. On the second stage of the map, that area is open. Doing a little bit of upgrade for the Enchi. Get that telly up to level 3. I've got 38 seconds before the gates open so it doesn't do me a lot of good running through to the enemy and taunting and just generally wasting time. Not as a pyro anyway. Okay, back for pyro. 18 seconds. Looks like the NG dropped down from that bell tower so I'd say our teleporter will go there and not through to this first section. All right, just waiting down here for the gate. There it is. Sometimes you get spies through here. Now I stop because that soldier's dancing and I try not to kill them, <laughs> but it put me off my game and the second Solly got me. I mean you can kill any player on the opposition of course, but um, if they're having a bit of a dance and they're not harming anybody, I generally try to leave them if I can. Just for a bit of fun. Alright, so I'm seeing in the kill cam that there's a spy near ONG. So when I come through, I'm going to see if I can help him out. Spy just sapped the tele exit, so I'm spraying fire as I come through, in case he's still there. There, I saw him go left, he's an NG. And this is the obvious place, he'd be coming in here for the NG gear. So I guessed he was coming through, and got him. 
Again, trying to build up my crits. Backing off when I can. No need to needlessly die. He's one of ours. They're too far away. If I go after him now, he's going to knock me down. Back up. Oh yeah. Bit of spam hitting the sentry. And it's firing at something, so I'll see if I can move it away. Now the demo and the Solly trying to come through the window. Demo was thinking though, he thought the only way I can come after them is by going through the doors, so he did a good job. Now I just saw a sniper dot on this um, choke point, so I'll be pretty careful as I come through. Is this a spy? No. No spy there. I like to just do little puffs of smoke rather than wasting all of my ammunition looking for spies. Backing away because there's a demo in that top room behind me. So back away. Looking over my head. I think a soldier was following me. So check here, clear. Back down. All clear. Sniper dot and that NG on the cart, definitely a spy. Now NG wouldn't be running that way. So I saw the dot above the cart, I know the sniper's watching that choke point. I don't want to go out there. Until I know it's clear. <laughs> I got a bit excited with this guy. He's dominating me. He's playing a great game. And I thought I might be able to take him down before he got to the health pack, but his aim was too good. Okay, so there's three players their side of the checkpoint. Just doing a quick sweep, forward and back. Make sure that there are no spies through here. Again, little puffs are all I need. Save my ammunition for the kills. That scout got crits and did what scouts are supposed to do. So he flanked me and took me down. Okay, waiting. Trying to build up crits. There's a spy. Not the same fellow from the other game, so that's good. Now, low on health, get the health. I turned my back. I was going to die if I didn't get to it anyway, so didn't feel like I had a lot to lose. Didn't see, and there's the fellow I wanted, <laughs> didn't see a sniper dot over the cart so that's why I ran straight out. There's a soldier to my right so I've got my option there. I've chosen to go the other way. And an NG who might have been setting up a tally, or even a sentry. But he's doing neither now. Anything up here? Probably not. A soldier just came out of here. Checking that heavy. Now backing up as I'm spraying. I'm pretty hurt. Grab the health. Very hurt. Grab the health again. 
And that's my nemesis. <laughs> no, I don't mind if I'm beaten by a better player. And Piggy was good. Could have been one of the best, as they say. Okay, looking around, see what our team's up to. Found a spy. Now, saw the rocket coming out from that um, top room. So I'm just trying to hit him with something. Again, the strafing. Backing up to stay alive. I can't get that soldier up in the top room. Not at the moment, anyway. Now, notice I fired with the mare melter, got out of the way, look for health. It's not mindless WM1. It's a definite plan. And it's just one you repeat. You want to get your crits, you want to stay alive, and then occasionally have some mindless WM1. <laughs> Okay, let's try it again. Two minutes, 39 seconds. I can see the NG set up up the top and his sentry is taking some spam. So I'm going to get on that teleporter and head up there, see if I can help him out. Yep, there's the soldier. Done. Well, he lost the sentry, but I kept the NG alive. And he's setting back up. Looking to see if anyone's going to drop down. Not seeing anything. There's a spy. Nice. Did my job. Of course, it is everyone's job to spy check. But a pyro has the tools to make it a little bit easier. So make it easier on your team and make sure you do. It's too easy to get tunnel vision when you're a pyro and just keep spraying forward. There, I've extinguished. I got crits from my man melter and kept my teammate alive. Fired the crits into a bunch and I'm building up crits again, this time on my flog. I've got it. Get down close to the wall and use the uber charge of the flog to help me survive it. Well, I'm going down, overextended, but I had the crits so I thought it was worthwhile knocking a few of them down with me. Fifty-eight seconds. If we can stop them from capping, the game will end. They have to cap all three maps to win. Check that pyro. No, he's one of ours, just asleep on his feet. <laughs> Looking after the NG, just checking to make sure he doesn't have a spy around. Give them a bit of pyro love. Nice shot from the Huntsman. And now I know that there is a Huntsman sniper in the top left. 19 seconds. Two players on cart. I've got to get out there. Protect the cart at this stage. It's easy to get a back cap when the cart's this close. So, again, checking to make sure that the spy is nowhere near. Fire once up into the sniper hut. And now get in behind these two players. Get them off the cart. And we have the win. Nice work, guys. See you next time.